don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're coming in to you sideways on this Tuesday morning. Hope everybody's doing good out there. It's going to be another beautiful day. So, anyway, I missed your interview this morning, man. I am so sorry we had guests out there. But, what well, I don't know what's going on. Harry, come out. I hate cops. I despise cops. I hate cops. Who'd y'all have on? Harry did not say that. <laughs> Pudding? No, um, I think I did hear it. <laughs> Yeah, pudding. <laughs> you're you're allowing yourself to be bullied. I'm not. I'm just telling you. I said, well, who do you have on? Who'd y'all have on this morning? They had we had uh, Cherokee County Sheriff Dustin Smith. Who? So what's had, Harry uh, got against him? He's in Cherokee County. He, Harry's got nothing against him. He's doing a fine job with limited resources, and he's um, complaining about the commissioners not giving him the money that he needs. So. Well, that's about the name of the game anymore, ain't it? I'm afraid so. I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. But anyway, hey, we're going to have a good show today. We have a lovely lady, Becky, with uh, what's it called? The Women's Enrichment Center. Yeah. She is the executive director. So she's going to talk a little bit about that. She wanted to come on your show, but Harry hates women. So (laughs) we got her on our show. You need to stop that. (laughs) Stop it, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> what did what did Joey B say? Who? Don't. Don't. Hey, I want to make a point before we go to the break. You know, we talked yesterday about all these folks attacking America, you own know, from the inside. All these jahids or jahids or what are they called? Jihads. Jihads. Yeah. I sent you that that Instagram post where we had the, the guy over in Australia, a jihad over in Australia attacked the the priest dude there. What's his name? Did you see that? Is this the one where the knife didn't come out? Or Yeah. It... Okay, that's kind of funny. Like, that's that's divine funny. intervention, man. <laughs> it is. He's sitting there looking at the yeah. knife like, oh, what happened? That's yeah. going to happen right here, man. I'm telling you, it's coming. Did you see that? Did you watch that? The video you sent me? Yeah. No. You didn't even look up on that where the where – the, I mean, the guy was in church. This is this is the priest that's got the hood and everything going with him? It's some kind of orthodox. Uh, I don't know. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. a cool-looking dude, man. He'd be yeah. like – Yeah. But anyway, he's in, he's in church preaching, and this jihad dude come up there and start yelling, nah, rah, 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 and, and <laughs> yeah. sling his knife. Do you not see that? Well, no, I saw it. I didn't oh, okay. watch it. That's all. Okay. I mean, I – I saw that you had sent it. You watched it, but you didn't watch it. Yeah. I didn't watch it. Why I didn't you watch it? it? Why don't? Why can't you stand the truth, Pat? Yeah. I know. I know. Well, the problem is, see, something that happens in Australia, let me know when it gets like to um, Cherokee County, uh, Georgia. Oh, okay. When it gets yeah. there, then I'll okay. tell okay, cool. Yeah. About yeah. It, Once it's a problem, then we'll deal with it. Then we'll deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. We got enough the current problems without worrying about some guy stabbing a, a Ku Klux Klan guy. Yeah, and, like making sure the smoke. Oh, listen, man, we're talking about a, a priest here is a Ku Klu- Klu- I thought you was a Catholic. This guy, the priest, what is he? Is this a Catholic priest? I have no I've idea what he is. He's a Catholic priest he's in wearing, that kind of a get up. He's wearing the same thing you do. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, the guy would. I mean, it's it's technically. I mean, I would if he's some form of Orthodox, I would think he's Catholic, right? He's not like Roman Catholic, but I mean, there's there's different types of Catholics, I guess, right? I well, now, wait a minute. It's not Roman Catholics, but they're like Orthodox All Catholics. All Orthodox right? are not Catholic. Are they not? Okay. I mean, no. There's uh, Jewish Orthodox. There's Orthodox Jews. I know. I'm talking about like Orthodox Christians. Well, I don't know. All I know is okay, it don't matter. Orthodox, okay, like maybe they're not. Okay, okay. And Orthodox Luther- Lutherans and I'm pretty sure Eastern Orthodox right. theologians refer to their church as Catholic. They call him a bishop. Okay, a All bishop. Right. All right. They should. I mean, you know, the, the, they had the perfect opportunity, though. I mean, they were already in church. Everybody's already dressed up. They could have took this guy out, had his funeral, buried him right there, and. Just a matter of a few hours, been done. So what was the point of the story? I told you yesterday that we have a lot of problems with these folks coming over the border that is uh, on the inside going to attack us. At one point, I do feel like that. Yeah. And you said, oh, no, no, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. 
It's it, crazy. Wait, Every wait, church wait, needs wait, to wait have an emergency plan like that. Every church, part of their collection or whatever they do, should have you know be paying an off-duty officer to sit there at their church. So why these people hate? Why these the guys hate? Why don't they attack each other? Why don't they attack each other? Why wait, do they hate us? Wait a second. I I agree, Packy. Every church should have an emergency plan, and many do. Uh, but my question here is. Australia has got some of the toughest immigration laws, and they're an island. You can't get in without, you know, just walking across the border. That's my right. point. So look, point at, look at a, so look how, at an island. How did this, how did this happen in in Australia, Stephen? Okay, you made my point. It, they, it's tough to get in out there, and this dude got in, and we got our borders wide open. But so, your so how is my point is how do you know how do you know that's not going to Australia? Ha- that's your point. How okay? do you know? And, no. and it doesn't work there, so why bother? Uh, my point is they got one dude. We got millions. You see the difference there? That we don't even know who they are. <laughs> At least they knew who this is cat that, was. Is, is, is that a fact, or is that just your supposition? Well, I, mean, I think also, it's pretty Pat, accurate. Hang on. you got to also consider the fact that Australia just recently, I mean, within the past couple of years, confiscated like 700,000 guns. Yeah. Oh, so the, the point of the conversation is now gun control. Well, it's, not, it's all, it's all the above. It's all. I mean, my, I'm going back to churches need to have an emergency plan, but also there's crazy people out there. It's It's not the... It's not the gun that shoots people. It's the you know that that commits these crimes. It's the person, which are coming yeah. across the border in a lot of situations, like they just did in Australia, and there's a yeah. lot of them coming across here too. And we don't know who they are. I have no idea who they are. Mm-mm. So anyway, all right, we got to get to break. You can't argue good sense out there with him. We got this young lady coming, and she is with the Women's Enrichment Center, and uh, I think they got a fundraiser or something, right? Uh, well, they're always taking funds. Right. Always taking. You can this always a donate good, to them. This is a good, op, uh, good organization, and uh, we support her. And she is a very sweet lady. And uh, so we want to get to break, get her on here, and see what she's got to say. So that's saying Young Harris Water Sport, we appreciate them, and we'll be right back. Now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. One congressman is conflicted enough about his party line on Ukraine that he secretly flew there last week to see the situation for himself. And that congressman is ours. Clay and Cherokee County Representative Chuck Edwards is back in the states after returning from that war-torn country last week. He and several other GOP congressmen met with Ukraine President Zelensky and came away with another fresh take that for all the talk about supporting Israel over Hamas, we should be doing just as much, if not more, for Ukraine. His view is in contradiction with that of many Republican congressmen who've been trying to tie Ukraine's funding to our struggles at the southern border. Edwards says one has nothing to do with the other. A Blairsville man remains in the local jail after being arrested last week for allegedly trying to break into a local pawn shop. Union County Sheriff's Captain Darren Osborne says Dalton Farrell, 20 years old, brought a hammer to break through the windows Wednesday evening, but didn't realize he'd be too large to crawl through the windows. In the meantime, the alarm went off, alerting deputies to the Gainesville Highway location and the pawn shop's owner. Farrell also resisted arrest, faces seven charges, and is now trying to secure a $38,000 bond to free himself. And the various cities and counties are encouraging the public to recognize dispatchers. Those are the crucial individuals who direct emergency calls to first responders. In fact, it's National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week all week long. For Pat Malone and Harry Bond, I'm Jeff Batten. Our mountain roads are busier than ever, which has led to more accidents. Unfortunately, insurance companies are not in the business of being fair. They're in the business of making money. I'm Daniel Duello, and I know because I used to train insurance adjusters on exactly how to do this. Now the Duello Law Firm in North Georgia works to ensure that you're treated fairly. For a free consultation, find us at duellolaw.com. That's D-U-E-L-L-O law.com. Union County Recreation Department offers activities for all ages. Put on your walking shoes and enjoy the many miles of walking trails at Meeks Park or enjoy some playground time with the kids. Don't forget about the two dog parks we have. There's one by the Senior Center and one at our Farmer's Market. There's something for everyone. Pickleball, tennis, swimming pool with splash pad, and if golf is your game, check out Butternut Creek Golf Course and the View Grill for lunch. Call 706-439-6074 or visit us on Facebook at Union County Recreation Department. Are you dreaming of summer lake days? Find your new boat at the Ridges Marina in Hiawassee. 
all vessels are 2021 and newer, professionally serviced, and have only been used in fresh water, no salt. We're offering great deals on these used fresh water only boats. Visit www.georgiaboatsales.com or stop by the Ridges Marina in Hiawassee today. All boats are priced to sell. Trailer package is optional. Get ready to make a splash with your new boat from the Ridges Marina. It's time now to honor the prep athlete of the week. Brought to you by Ware Chevrolet in Blairsville. Supporting the champions of tomorrow from the five-county area. Track and field season is quickly coming to an end, and the Union County High School teams competed at the Mount Yona Invitational last week. Nomi Nelson had quite the performance. Nomi finished second in the 100-meter and the triple jump. Her performance in the triple jump is officially a new school record. Congratulations to Nomi Nelson. The Wear Chevrolet Athlete of the Week. At Sentinel Plastic Surgery Blairsville, we have three new aesthetic treatments for you. Three comfortable, affordable solutions. Small vein removal, age spot removal, or permanent hair removal. Maybe you don't show your legs because of unsightly veins. How about those brown spots that age your face or your bald head? No more waxing or shaving after your permanent hair removal. Contact Sentinel Plastic Surgery at 706-439-6486. That's 706-439-6486. Life's biggest moments call for unique and beautiful gifts. Let Davis Jewelers take away all the worry and indecision with a beautiful pendant, ring, necklace, or earrings. We've got a huge selection of unique pieces to make every special moment become an oh wow moment. Our experts at Davis Jewelry want to help you find the perfect piece for birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and engagements, or just because. Find us at 417 Blue Ridge Street in Blairsville or davisjewelry.jewelershowcase.com. The Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, folks, we're back with you, and we're tickled to death to have Miss Becky here with, uh, what's it called again? It's Woman's Enrichment Center. Woman's Enrichment Center. There is a choice and uh, this would be the choice to take. Tell us a little bit about what you. what is the Women's Enrichment Center and what basically do you do? Okay. First off, it's, um, it has been known as the Appalachian Area Crisis Pregnancy Center. We've been in business 33 years in the ministry helping women, especially it started out just strictly pregnant women uh, needing assistance, trying to help them make choices that they can live with. Right. And um, that started in July 1991. In 2006, they added the name Woman's Enrichment Center, meaning um, reaching one woman at a time. If you can reach the woman, you can reach the ability to save life and to promote life. And then uh, shortly thereafter, uh, over the past few years, we realized we were no longer dealing with uh, being able to do all the ultrasounds and pregnancy tests. So uh, we have another center in town, Georgia Mountain Pregnancy Center, who does our ultrasounds and pregnancy tests for us. So we went uh, fully resource material as well as being able to help the families in need to reach out to other community resources and so um, they come in we assign every new client an advocate and then with the uh, signing of that they have to have a coaching session with their advocate before they receive material items so let me ask you something uh with the okay you've got women that's pregnant they're in a bad situation they're thinking about abortions is that kind of where this leads to and y'all it is not quite as prevalent as we had thought at first um women up here in this area do seem to be having enough support through family and other resources to be able to uh, raise the babies right. and especially with the material things that we have which is everything baby right. uh, they are able to earn points and have education become better parents uh, we also opened the center over the past couple of years to full families dads raising kids grandparents raising children and grandkids um 
foster families, if they have a need to have a little extra assistance, we're able to help them as well. So now what about, <clears throat> like if you have a somebody that actually is going to have the kid but don't want the kid, do you have access to like adoption agencies or people that would adopt the kids? You got, I'm just, because I know when Packy's young and gets old enough to realize oh, that Packy's his daddy, he's going to be like, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. I need a new dad. <laughs> yes, to answer your question on that, uh, we do not actually handle adoption, but we do promote it mm -hmm. as far as it, we offer it to the families. If they have a need to go that direction and they want to share their baby with another family, then we let them uh, be contacted by some of the Christian uh, adoption agencies in the area. Right. And uh, if they need a place to meet, they can meet there at our center. Right. But otherwise, that's where we stop. We don't. We are not allowed to tell people, okay, this person here would like to share their baby for adoption. Right. We're not allowed to do that at all. Okay. But we can put them in touch with somebody that can help. Go ahead, Pat. Um, Becky, the, the center is a faith-based organization, correct? A faith-based organization? Yes, it is a faith-based organization. Uh, we have uh, chose to remain that, where um, that we are able to share Jesus with other people without having any problems with it. We never take government money or government grants. They are all, the business is um, done with... Um, I'm sorry, I lose my concentration. No, you bit. did fine. Sorry, you didn't Pat, we, we, we didn't have headphones. That's my fault. I forgot to give her headphones when we started. So, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. But we have used uh, a couple different grants at times. They are Christian grants and from the Georgia Baptist Christian Association. We also do fundraisers. We are supported by churches, individuals, businesses, so uh, that is where the income, everything that someone comes in to see, including the building, the property, all of it has been by donation. Mm -hmm. And and you're you're a supplier of the material things that people need when when the, a baby comes into the family, correct? Yes, we do have clothing, uh, baby furniture, diapers, diapers, yeah, everything. One, they do have to. Our clients have to go ahead and do some of the programs that we have in order to gain points. And when they have points, points spend like money in our shops. Uh, for a pregnant mother, we have a room called the Baby Boutique. It is the longest running uh, part of our ministry because it started out being called the Diaper Bag Ministry. As a pregnant mom comes in, she is the only one that has access to get the things from that room. They pick a diaper bag, get to put three brand new items in it. We do this at every visit, and we try to see them at any stage during pregnancy. We like to see them earlier where we can do some education and childbirth ed, but uh, a lot of times the clients will even come to us late in their pregnancy, and it does not matter what time. Uh, we're still there to help. Every client also has access to our used clothing. Diapers cost points, wipes cost points, furniture, and uh, but the clothing itself is uh, by part of our program of just being a client that they can get the baby clothes or the maternity wear. And now, other than an occasional grant, your primarily funding source is donations from the community, correct? From the churches. That churches. is from the churches. Yes, mm -hmm. that and our two fundraisers are a yard sale that uh, is also a combined barbecue. Uh, it's going to be May 10th and 11th. We have it out at the Union County Farmers Market. We're the only ones out there. So every penny that is raised goes right back into the ministry to help the clients help keep the business running. Our second one is September 21st, our golf tournament. This is going to be our fourth annual golf tournament, so we're real excited about that. And with that part, we uh, try to get sponsorship. Mm -hmm. But churches and the two fundraisers are our biggest. And then we do have uh, some businesses that do support as well. Have you ever had any support from, you know, government, any kind of local governments or anything like that giving you any, any kind of 
financial support? No, we have never taken it. We've been with this. You've never n- taken it? You've never been offered? or We have been offered, okay. but we have never taken it. Um for 33 years now, uh, well, it'll be 33 July 5th of uh, this year, but we feel like if we give in to taking from a source that we choose not to, they can share with us what we're allowed to share with others. Sure. Well, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's very yeah. good philosophy. Yeah. So, um, do you have do you have a website? Where can people find out more information? I mean, if there are individuals out there that want to contribute and help you guys, you'll you'll take that, right? We will definitely. Uh, we're uh, it's under W E C A A C P C, which stands for the net full names of our of the ministry, and it's dot org. Uh, if there's any trouble finding it, then they can call 706-745-7518 or my number, 706-994-3391, and get all the information that they need from that. You know, some studies show that a woman who is considering abortion, when she sees an ultrasound, she a lot of times will change her mind on that. Yes, that uh, is absolutely true. And, and you, you offer that life. for free. I mean, the, we do. It is actually part of the outsourced resource. Uh, we contact uh, Georgia Mountain Pregnancy Center. They are the medical side of what we used to do, where we are now full resource and education. So we get them in touch with them. And the one that uh, created that center also came out of our center as an advocate, Kathy Davis. So it is an awesome uh, enhancement of each other's ministry to be able to show life, to prove pregnancy. And uh, so when they do see this life, uh, the heartbeat Oh yeah, they change. So we're about we're almost out of time. But if if there is somebody out there who is considering having an abortion, what would you say to that person? If I had the call, and I've taken several throughout my life, I would ask them to come in, let us set them up with these appointments uh, to verify pregnancy. Sometimes they come in a very early state. Uh, and they're not sure whether or not they are truly pregnant or not, the best thing that we can do is to get them to come in. And it's not a matter of any kind of, uh, oh, come in here, we're going to talk you into something different. It is to come in, set up the appointments, to share with them what life is and the importance and sanctity of life. So and the- let me ask you another question. Like, do you need volunteers? Do y'all work with volunteers? Or do you, I mean, yes. I, I'm sure there's probably people out there thinking, well, I'd like to get involved in this, but I don't, you know, I've got plenty of time on my hands. I'd like to get involved in this. Do y'all need like volunteers? Yes, we do. We do have a staff of five that are paid through the donations. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have uh, our volunteers. Our volunteers can be uh, the ones that help with sorting the donations, going through it, becoming advocates. I have uh, one or two of them right now that are studying to be an advocate, which takes a lot of in-house studying on their own and then practice, and uh, I get to work with them. But, yes, we can always use volunteers. There is one question that I will always ask of a volunteer before they truly come on full-fledged. First off, do you know Jesus Christ is your Savior? If you don't, you're not going to be able to be an advocate. You might be able to be helping but uh, we're not going to put you right there with the client specifically. The second is, are you dedicated? Is this where you have been called by the Lord to come in and work? Right. That's a good question. Pudding, that Mm -hmm. marks you off the list. Well, I was going to say, I was going to say, don't ask him to be sorting donations either. His his eyes lit up over there as soon as you said that. One for me, one for you. I don't know. I'm 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 sitting here thinking, boy, it'd be great to be working with a bunch of pregnant women. Woo! That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so... If I could just add to with sure. the uh, center as we are uh, right now, the full uh, title that we're using uh, quite often is the WEC, which stands for the Women's Enrichment Center Family mm-hmm. Resource. L- we have a new bulletin board that is uh, at, um, 
a good digital ad over by Rib Country. So we're hoping to reach some of our uh, high school kids right. as they come through that they will see that if they have a need. But you don't have to be pregnant to come in, and there is no limitation on when you stop coming. Right. All right, I think that's great. One more time before we go, you got two fundraisers coming up, and tell them about that a little bit. Okay, um, the first one is going to be uh, Friday and Saturday, May 10th and 11th. Uh, on Friday, it'll be 8 to 5. On Saturday, 8 to 3. There will be barbecue. We can also do prepaid tickets for barbecue plates on Friday, and those can be delivered locally as long as we're not too far out. The second one will be September 21st. It's our golf tournament. And if you want to be a sponsor, and we pray you do, uh, or give a big donation. There you go. All right. You heard it right here first on the morning dish. So we'll be looking for y'all out there, and we appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate being able to come oh, on we, and share. We had a caller that was wondering if you repeat the phone numbers again. Yes, 706-745-7518. That will be Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. The My number, 706-994-3391, is after hours. All right. Y'all have got it, folks. We appreciate it. We're going to take a short break. Uh, Young Harris Water Sports, we appreciate them bringing you the show, and it is summertime out there. You know the lake's going to fill up. You need a boat. You need an RV. Go by and check them out. We'll be right back. Young Harris Water Sports and RV, now offering new RVs and boats from top brands like Grand Design, Rockwood, Cedar Creek, Godfrey Pontoons, Hurricane Deck Boats, Monterey Bow Riders, Roballo Center Consoles, and more. Now offering a closeout sale on all 2023 boats and RVs. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the largest service center and parts and accessories selection in the area, so there's no reason to leave the mountains. Young Harris Water Sports and RV, located at 3676 Highway 76 or online at yhmarineandrv.com. Let's go! Jackie Jones, Jackie Jones, Jackie Jones. A better solution for basic vehicle service has come to the mountains. Quick Lane at Jackie Jones Ford Hayesville is your go-to place for routine auto maintenance for all vehicle makes and models. Get extraordinary service from expert technicians and take advantage of our low price tire guarantee at Jackie Jones Ford Hayesville and JJFordHayesville.com. Jackie Jones Ford. Did you know the warranties on a Green Tree Metal Roof are at least double the lifespan of most shingles? Install a Green Tree Metal Roof in one of nearly 20 vibrant colors and you'll get a 30-year chalk and fade warranty and a lifetime film integrity warranty against cracking and peeling. Green Tree's Energy Star certification means you'll also get lower power bills. Learn more about the benefits of a Green Tree Metal Roof at GreenTreeMetals.com. Green Tree Metal, coolest roof around. You lay on it. You jump off it. You set sail from it. Your dock makes you happy. And Shores and More in Blairsville wants to make sure it brings you happiness for years. Search Shores and More on the internet to learn about new aluminum construction, boat lifts, jet ski ports, and more. Shores and More makes dock owning even better on Notley, Chattoog, and Blue Ridge. Yes, docks improve value, but they're also a ton of fun. So let's get started with Shores and More on the Murphy Highway. Copy, faxes. Hey, Mom, what you doing? Practice my English to get more money for Daddy. Can we help you? Yes. Okay, Ma. Notary. Notary. Drop off. Drop off. Shipping. Chippy. No, Mom. Shipping. Shipping. <laughs> Yay! You got it! Mountainside Parcel and Post between the post office and car wash in Blairsville. Has anybody seen Daddy's wallet? Adios, bios. Grandma! Improving our patients' dental health one smile at a time. Dr. Jared Houston, Dr. Courtney Marshall, and Dr. Tom Mims and the staff at Valley River Dental live by that principle every day. Get expert care within a broad range of services from preventive dentistry and periodontal treatments to dental implants and orthodontics. Or maybe it's just about perfecting a beautiful smile. So if you're looking for a new dentist, consider Valley River Dental Dentistry in Murphy on Bill Hughes Avenue in Murphy. The Morning Dish. Young Harris Water Sports says it may be Tuesday, but on the lake, every day's the weekend. Young Harris Water Sports is ranked number one in customer service and boasts the number one full marine service department in the mountain area. So make it the best Tuesday ever at Young Harris Water Sports. 
All righty, we're with you, folks. We're back with you. Uh, y'all need to pay attention to that, and uh, that's coming up. So, uh, sweet lady. Absolutely. I yeah. can't believe you actually got good friends. I know, man. <laughs> Just a couple of them. Kind of impressed a little bit here, Thanks, Packy. Man. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's kind of impressed. I reckon we got the pro-Palestinian demonstrators demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. They have blocked uh, the San Francisco and the New York uh, bridges and uh, Chicago, too. How about that? That's uh, Why didn't they get arrested? I, you know, here's the thing, man. We were talking about this yesterday. We were talking about this yesterday. I was sitting there, and we were watching this thing, and there was an 18-wheeler sitting there. And yeah, I'll, I'm, uh, I'm afraid of where this one's going. Go ahead. If I was eight, I would be like, uh-oh. I'd put that thing yeah. in low range and lock the hubs, baby. We're coming uh, yeah. through. My foot slipped off the clutch, huh? Yeah, my foot got <laughs> yeah. hung in the carburetor. And yeah. the thing about it, man, they were on the bridge. They were right there at the edge. All they have to do is just toss them over. I mean, what the heck? It'd be done with it. No, I, be, being serious, why didn't they arrest those people? It's against the law to block a highway. That's what everybody is asking. Why did they yeah. not arrest the people? And I'm going to tell you something. You've heard well, of now, what? Where, where were they? They were in San Francisco. Right. They were in New York. Yep. And they were in Chicago. Right. Where, what do those three cities have in common? Well, they're all Democrat-run cities. There you go. There you go. Yeah, they're like the they're like the ultimate code enforcement officers. Yeah. Yeah, the ultimate code enforcement officers. Yeah. But I mean, you talk about road rage. I mean, honestly, if you were sitting in that traffic, I mean, at some point after being there for an hour, couldn't get out, you would just be, would you not just go off? I mean, could yeah, that? Yeah, I'm afraid you would. Yeah. I, I that's why I say you know arrest them right away and uh, prevent crime. Right. But the, yeah. they don't even know what they're talking about, and they're pope. The, the, here's the here's some more of these folks. I think we need to load up in a bus and and drive them uh, to Iran. I mean, get them out of here. Do you not think? No. See, I mean, I I see you got these you got these ultimate solutions. I'm just trying to stay within the law. Well, that, what they're doing is not is not is not within the law. Well, then you arrest them for what they're doing, period. But Okay, here's the thing. So you arrest them, you take them. They, they have no bail or nothing up there. They just take them and they sign their signature and out the door they went. There's no consequence for what they're doing. There's none. So how do you learn? If there's not a consequence, there's a consequence for everything, you would think. I mean, when I grew up, there was a consequence. Yeah. Now there's none. So these people can okay. do whatever they but want to do. Least, at least the road is clear, Stephen. At least the road is clear. What does that mean? You, you cleared the bridge. If you arrest them and took them to jail, it takes some time to process them. Right. So what if they walk? If that's what the city of San Francisco or Chicago wants, that's their home rule deal. Okay, that's their problem. Right. If they go back to the bridge and try to uh, obstruct traffic, arrest them again. I don't, I don't, they will never do it on 285. I guarantee it. Ain't nobody stop for you on 285. Well, that, that's the truth. They just get <laughs> run over. But I'm going to tell you something. And, and a lot of folks think I'm crazy, but you know, my daddy told me this. He said, son, you'll never be too old for me to wear you out. And he's 87 years old, I guess now, something thereabouts. And, and, and yeah. if he wanted to wear me out, he'd wear me out. And if my mom seen me on that bridge, she'd drive down there and, and, <laughs> She'd wear me out would, all the way back to the house. You know better than this. Would you do me a favor? I don't know your dad. Yeah. But would you go and tell him that he's overdue? <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> well, he thinks like I do. Yeah, he thinks a lot like I do. I'm with you though. I do not understand this. But did they not have some down in did they not have some block uh some protesters in in Atlanta that they did the same thing and let them just slide right on by? Uh, well, again, what what does Atlanta have in common with the uh, the rest of the cities we talked about? What does your shirt say? All lives splatter. Yeah, there you <laughs> go, man. There you go. I'm taking a little There's far, a, man. There, I hope Gary's listening. There you go. We need a big eighteen wheeler with a <laughs> with somebody nice. splashed out on a hood with a pro Palestine flag. You hearing that, one Gary? Those, if you're listening, one of those. 
cow catchers on the front of that. Yeah, right? there you go, Gary. Yeah. There's the next T-shirt for the group up there, no doubt. I'm with you, man. Mm-hmm. I just think, like I said, they've got to be some consequences to your reactions, and that's what's wrong with the world today. Nobody's getting any. I mean, you know, you don't get it at home, and you can't get it at school because they can't make you behave at school, and then you get out, and the police can't make you behave. Used to, it'd be, you know, the cops would put you in jail. You'd end up in jail at yeah, some point. But now I you think can't. your generalization is too broad. I mean, I, I think – I think 80% of the kids are getting it at home, are understand consequences, are having consequences dealt with them right. when they step out of line. But to, to, I, I think it's a bad idea to broad brush every, everything the same way. There are these wackos out there that are allowed to run wild. Um, but most most parents are doing a pretty darn good job of raising their kids. I'm with you on that. But them's not the kids that needs their hind end tore up, Bubba. Yeah, the, 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 you're preaching to the gospel, though, or the, to the choir here. Yeah, yeah they're not the I mean, you're the preaching to parents who care and, and do discipline their kids and do apply consequences. See, I'm putting everybody in the same box. If you do this, this is what's going to happen to you. I don't care what shape, form, or fashion, color, age, anything. If you break this law, this is what's going to happen. Well, that's what equality looks like. But the Everybody's ironic thing to me, though, the same way. The ironic thing to me is how they like use the Constitution and the well, it's a First Amendment, and that's our first. It's like now all of a sudden you're going to start, you know, going by the Constitution. Like all of a sudden, out yeah. of nowhere, now you care about the Constitution. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I don't think the Constitution it, it, necessarily like applies to like your right to free speech in the middle of a highway. You know, I think it's so they're pro Palestine, pro Palestine, which means they're pro uh, rape. Pro, uh, throwing no gay, women's throwing rights. Gaze off of roofs. Yeah, uh, it, 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 Stephen. There, therein lies the rub, and you alluded to this earlier. They don't know that stuff. They're just, they're just watching and saying, "Oh, the poor Palestinians." They don't know what's behind that. They don't know about the, the rape and the and the. Uh, Women as second-class citizens. But see, that's how we feel when we look at you, Pat, and we're like, you know, you're just so – you're just but, you orange know. man bad all the time. It's like the same thing. <laughs> the, that's the I thing, am. though. I mean, but that, that's why you can't watch CNN all the time because they don't tell you all this stuff. But I anybody don't. can go on the Internet at this point in your lifetime. Anybody can go on the Internet and watch this. You can watch when uh, they come across in Israel and, and just randomly went around killing people, babies, killing people, beheaded them, raping uh, – brutality like you would not believe hostages and take i mean this is just these are brutal people and these people are standing up for them because we're pro-palestine i'm i'm like okay if you're pro-palestine let's put you there you go let's pass the law if you're pro-palestine then we'll go with the what's that Maroc habra law what is that law called sharia law yeah we go by the sharia law so this is a perfect example of that so there, there was a video that was posted by a page that you probably follow called libs of tiktok all right and it's a little girl who is a wheelchair bound little girl and she is having the crap beat out of her in a bathroom in a school if this and this is only posted from what i've seen on x if you if if before Elon Musk had taken that over, this kind of video would have been taken off. It would have been taken down because it was violent content. They would have censored it, and they would mm-hmm. have pulled any semblance of that video off of there. Mm-hmm. And the fact that it has been able to be shared, yeah, it does have a thing on that says, "Hey, this is kind of like graphic content or whatever." But you have tons of people that are that have been sharing this. Donald Trump Jr., um, Charlie Kirk, even Juanita Broderick has put, you know, has, has shared this video. So now tons of people have seen this, and that that little girl may have justice of some form. And before that, you wouldn't have been able to to share that. So like that's what Stephen and I are talking about when he said like it's so cool that Elon Musk has taken over that and just kind of just allowed free speech to. Well, they beat up a happen. girl that was in a wheelchair. I know, man. And then you got all kinds of. Photos on there where they just beat up random people for no just reason. Walking down the street, just like whacking people. But here's the thing: the we talk floor. about all that. Okay, now we go back to Atlanta. Okay, Evan just went down to Atlanta. He had to go down there for some flight training, and this is in Atlanta at the airport. They said, you know, don't bring a nice car. Don't leave anything in your car because they're going to bust the windows out. And they're going to steal this stuff. You right. can't. Don't. 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 I mean, it is a shame that we're in that. And I would, I don't want to go to Atlanta, but I mean, this is at the airport. Even even gated in, fenced in areas, they're saying, you know, they're busting windows out of cars, they're stealing stuff, and the, why would we put up with that? I don't understand. I mean, why would we put up with that? 
I'm just thinking like the irony of the whole thing because like we, the the issue is we don't. Oh yes, we do. do. They're taking over. No, They're saying no, no, uh, uh-uh. uh. Okay. We don't live in Atlanta. We don't. That doesn't happen here. Okay, that's that's the mindset. I'm with you. Okay, we're up here. We're safe. We're fine. But to no, like- it, it's not that we're safe. It's that we don't allow it. Or or if it happens, when it happens. We have consequences. Well, I'll guarantee you one thing, brother. Your tax money are going down there to support it. How how is my tax money? I mean, Pat, I'll that's guarantee that's- you, all these guys and girls down there doing all this stuff is having. They got they got money coming in somewhere from some kind of government funded something. Now, I can't prove that, but in my mind, I think I'm right. So don't confuse me with the facts. I got my mind made up. Your okay. tax money is supporting all this nonsense that's, down there. That's your T-shirt. Well, Pat, let me don't, let me ask you a question. Do you believe – hang on. Do you believe in the old saying, I mean, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure? Do you believe that? Yes. Okay, well, then yes. why does that not apply here? You're going to take steps to be proactive and not reactive. It's like we talk about like with the school board things. Like, no, there are people who are trying to get on the school board here that are wackos, man. <laughs> They are. Let's, and okay, let's call been, some names out. No, I, I, name. I, they've been sitting here, and they're. And we just know, like, they're not talking about the kind of things that know they're going to make everybody mad. But you know, they're, they're going to bring the CRT. They're going to bring the the bathroom policy. Like that's yeah. what they want. They want that here for whatever reason it is. We don't know why they're wacko like that, but like they are, and they want to be. So we need to keep them off. We need to take steps and call them out and make sure that they do not end up here, rather than just like letting them get on and then. Because it's harder to get rid of them once they're on here. Yeah. I, I take I, preemptive so your, steps. What is what is your point? Take preemptive steps. Be ready for it. Talk about it. I think Don't need, say that it's not coming. It's not here. Blah blah blah. I think we need to load them in a bus and drive them to Iran. Just take them over and dump them out. Just put everybody in a bus and drive them across and let them just. Who we got putting pot? Oh, uh, we got Amy this morning. Amy. Amy, what you going to do? <laughs> Good morning. I have a comment. I do. I agree with you. Which uh, one? There's on three the whole, of us here. The whole, you, see, but the whole um, tax thing. Yeah. When I pay my taxes and I'm working and my company takes my Georgia taxes out, they don't say, oh, well, Amy lives in Union County, so I'm going to send it back to Union County. That I, So, yes, we are paying for and dealing with whatever's going on in the state of Georgia, period. Right. So, I... I agree with you. You don't huh? have to worry about your mind getting changed. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm going to make me a T-shirt. We're going to get us a T-shirt. Yeah. I, it's frustrating, yeah. though. It really is. And, and I think if you – 100% agree. If you cut a lot of this stuff out, you can get folks that has got a job and, and, and they're having to go to work. They ain't got no time to get out. What does it say? Idle time is the devil's hands, or I can't get it. I yeah, always, devil's workshop. Yeah, yep. there you go. 100% so. agree. You've got the, there's no fear. You yep. have to have a fear of something. I was terrified that I was going to get trouble growing up. My mom's going to whoop my butt. Right. You know, but I was afraid of that. And it's not I'm saying everybody's going to walk around scared to death, but you have to have a certain level of fear. Yeah. You know, you have to, you have to have that so everybody will behave. Yep. Yes, consequences. Yep. Yes. There you go. I agree. Well, girl, have a good morning. Hey, thank you so much. Uh-huh. All right there, Pat Malone. I ain't gonna let you answer that because she's right. Well, I I don't disagree with what she said. Okay, how come you agree with her and you don't agree with me? I she said two entirely different things than you oh, said. Oh yeah, okay. okay. I got you. But I I still don't see getting people all riled up like it's the devil is at the door. He is. They are. He he it's an hour and a half down Highway Five Fifteen, man. <laughs> like, come on, dude. It's not Australia anymore, man. <laughs> What's up, Lee? Oh, uh, we got Carol this morning. Uh-oh. Oh, Carol. Uh-oh. What are you doing, girl? I am calling to say that I think you ought to string all these people up that are protesting and holding up all the people on the uh, bridges and handcuff them together and make them sit down and stay on the side of the road. And if they get up, consequences. But get up, we shoot them. I'm with you, Carol. Yeah. Carol, <laughs> minister of torture. Bingo! <laughs> She's yeah. even got the evil laugh, man. Oh. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just, you know what? You get to a point where you just, you're over it. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm there. I'm over it. You know, people, they wonder why people go postal. Yeah. They I do. think. 
I think it's because we ain't got bullies in school no more myself, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep up the good work, guys. I like all of, I, I love every one of you. Pat, mm. Harry, Stephen. Mm. I, I even like you, Jeff. Have you even you met? Do. Have you even met <laughs> Harry? I, who's Jeff? <laughs> have you even met Harry? Who? Harry. Have you ever met Harry? Oh, you mean like Harry Bond? No, I haven't. Well, you said you loved him. I'm just thinking. You've no, never I mean met him. on the air. Yeah, I know. You, yeah. I like your comments. I like the mixture that you all do together. And yes, I do call in and and make weird. You know, you call sentences. us anytime. We love it. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. All right. Hey, we got to take a quick break. We're going to give something away. We're going to give some Bayou Bites or anything. What Let's, we got? Well, we could do some Boucher's. Yeah. Bites. Pat Malone's like going to get away. us a water boy trivia question. Sound good? Gotcha. I can't always water boy. Why can't we do like Burt Reynolds or my, something? My, 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 something my, my, cool. My, my, my mama said that. Uh, Young Harris Water Sports. Hey, look outside, folks. It's going to be a beautiful day. You're going to want to be on the lake. Go by and check them out. Young Harris Water Sports and RV. Now offering new RVs and boats from top brands like Grand Design, Rockwood, Cedar Creek, Godfrey Pontoons, Hurricane Deck Boats, Monterey Bow Riders, Roballo Center Consoles, and more. Now offering a closeout sale on all 2023 boats and RVs. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the largest service center and parts and accessories selection in the area, so there's no reason to leave the mountains. Young Harris Water Sports and RV, located at 3676 Highway 76 or online at yhmarinandrv.com. Let's go! Warmer weather is here, so make sure your yard looks the part. Come to Hiawassee Hardware and save on gardening tools, power equipment, and more to dig in. Save on garden gloves, kneeling pads, landscaper select rakes, and Vulcan wheelbarrows. Save $30 on the six cubic foot model right now at Hiawassee Hardware on Main Street. And for power equipment, Hiawassee Hardware is still the best. In fact, we are your store for warmer weather and a whole lot more. Shop local at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. The Eller and Owens family knows you have a dream for your home and for the generations that gather. We are four generations serving our clients with integrity and exceptional service. Shop to make your vision for your home come to life and let us help. You'll find personal service, countless custom options, and unique looks. Buy more, save more every day with Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Furniture for your life, for your generations. This is Tamela Cooper with Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, and I left my husband and staff unattended for a few hours, only to find out I have been given a nickname, which happens to be a rodent. In our line of work, you have to maintain a sense of humor, but I think these guys took it a little far this time. Come by and give them a hard time with me, and while you're there, let's go ahead and get your wishes in writing. Pre-planning your wishes doesn't have to be somber. We are Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, Towns County's local funeral home. Hey, it's Stephen Phillips in the Morning Dish for the new Hilltop Storage in Hiawassee. Now, everybody knows that I'm known for my organizational skills and keeping order. And that's what's great about Hilltop Storage. If I run out of space at home or at Benny's, I know that I've got as much storage space as I need. They got small units starting at 6x8, and all the units are climate controlled with indoor access. So if you've got too much stuff and can't stand to see it go, or if all the neighbors are complaining about the junk in your yard like mine are, rent at Hilltop Storage in Hiawassee. 706-994-2667. Hey, did you know that 90% of popcorn is eaten during the movie trailer and only 10% during the movie? Not at Blairsville Cinema. Refills are just a dollar. And when you finish off the popcorn during the trailer, I get the refill bucket all to myself during the movie. Yeah, you never like sharing much. Not at the Blairsville Cinema. Hey, pass the snow caps. Shh, the movie has started. For movie times and schedules at the best cinema around, call 706-745-1000 next to the bowling alley or visit BlairsvilleCinema.com. The Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, we're back with you. Hope everybody's doing good out there. We have got a question. We're going to give away some Bayou Bites. My favorite thing, no doubt about it. One of my favorite things, Cajun foods. Everything always comes down to food. What you got, put, Pat? Uh, the question is, after winning the game for the Mud Dogs, right. what is written about Bobby on the scoreboard? Say it one more time. 
after winning the game for the Mud Dogs, what is written about Bobby on the scoreboard? There you go. Give us a call, 706-379-9770. You can be eating some Cajun food here in just shortly. Across the teletop machine, this is uh, sent to me. Check this out. The Bishop Emmanuel, that was his name, who was stabbed by the racial, racial, uh, the crazy Muslim, I'm going to say, while he was preaching, is now resting in a hospital in stable condition. So he's doing okay. He was actually stable. And they said after he was stabbed, he got to his feet, placed his hands uh, on the attacker's head, and began praying for him. How about that? You sure he that? wasn't trying to strangle him, and they just like, oh, yeah, he's praying on him. <laughs> they like, said ah. he was praying for him. <laughs> his so. neck, he got on the head. Yeah, yeah. he's – yeah, he – that's what you're supposed to do. I'm kind of like Packy, though. I'd be choking him, I guess. So I'm not a good example. <laughs> for you. But anyway, I take I take a lot to do that. Would you not think? Yeah, it does. Yep. Yeah, it does. But, but you know what? You know what's wrong with your solutions? What? You can't be for the rule of law, and then have the consequences be illegal. Uh what? What? Do you, what? You can't be an advocate for the rule of law right? and then suggest the punishment for breaking the law is something illegal. Why not? (laughs) (laughs) If they can do it, I can do it. Say that real slow. (laughs) Who we got, Lip? Who we got, Lip? Mr. Consistency strikes again. Who we got, Uh, We got Charles this morning. Hey, Charles, what's up, bud? Uh, How you doing, uh? Up above is the scoreboard. He loves his mama. You're right, Charles. Charles, you're you eating. Man of Bobby. Yeah, you're eating good tonight. Well, thank you, sir. What y'all doing today? Uh, well, I was watching YouTube where uh, the Iranians was trying to bomb Israel, and they got blowed up themselves. I love it, don't you? That's karma there. Yeah, karma, you know, you got to love karma. Yep, I'm with you. All right, brother, well, you've won. Just swing by here. Well, he's got to swing by I've here. got a physical gift certificate here for you, so swing by and pick her up, okay? Uh, Well, I might not be able to pick it up. It's a long way to walk, but I will get it. All right, we got her here for you, brother. I appreciate it. All right. I reckon John Cougar Mellencamp, he is in the news because I reckon he was giving all of his people a lecture on how great Biden was and his political stance in the world, and I don't reckon none of the folks in the audience wanted to hear it. They said, shut up and sing. (laughs) (laughs) He got mad and walked off, man. He just left him hanging. Shut up and sing. We don't care what you got to say. He is a way out there liberal lady, man. There's a, there's a word to live by, you know, for musicians. Yeah, he is shut way up out there. Play. Maybe, maybe, shut maybe. Shut up and act. For yeah. The <laughs> I just don't want to hear his political opinions. Maybe Cougar, it says, maybe uh, Cougar uh, left to suck on a chili dog. What the heck does that mean? I, I don't know. It's one of his songs. Hey, tomorrow, folks, we got, it's going to be a great day. We got Gary Chapman, singer, songwriter, and we got the Moon Pie Guy all on the same day, man. It's going to be great. This is going to be wonderful. We're going to have Moon Pies. There's going to be too much America for you, Pat. Yeah. Your, your head's going to explode. <laughs> I, hey, Jackie, I thought we were upgrading the show, and now we're slipping back into our old stuff. America, boys, America, where I can understand. <laughs>